Here is another viewer inspired video and in this video we are going to be talking about the roof rafter seat cuts because some of our viewers are wondering how deep they need to make the seat cuts and for whatever reason they're focusing on this measurement here when you really need to be focusing on this measurement here. However the length of this measurement here could affect any type of materials you're going to be finishing the building with and whether or not you need to install your shear panel on the exterior before you install the roof rafters. And the reason why I didn't focus on this in one of my popular videos about cutting a roof rafter is because there there are no standard engineering details for this. I have never came across one detail from a structural engineer that provided me with any of these measurements. So keep that in mind also. And for those of you new to my channel, let's not forget that I am not a structural engineer and that all of the information I'm going to share with you in this video is based off of information that I have used myself or on other construction projects I've seen other people do. And the reason why this measurement is going to be more important than the plumb measurement or the vertically level measurement is so that we can get nailing here. We need to be able to install two nails on one side and these will be 16 D nails and then one nail on the other side. This was a common practice. However, I have seen plenty of people put one nail on each side and I have seen people who have installed two nails on each side. And as far as the horizontal or level measurement goes, this one here, I like to install my rafters with at least a two and a half inch minimum measurement here. And of course, this measurement here is going to vary depending upon the pitch of the roof, unless I'm going to be installing plywood siding or some other exterior finish that I will need to concern myself with for the length of the wall framing. For example, if I'm going to use eight foot tall plywood and I have a wall that is going to be eight foot one inches tall and that will occur when you use 92 and a quarter inch framing studs and I want the bottom of the plywood to be below the top of the building foundation, then the vertically plumb measurement might matter. Then I will need to take into consideration the vertically plumb measurement on the roof rafter. Now the last roof pitch was a 6 and 12. This is a 2 and 12. And since the angle is going to be a little different, we're going to end up with a smaller measurement here, even though I didn't need to go with a longer measurement there because I'm going to have plenty of room on the horizontally level part of the seat cut on both sides. And of course, if we raise the angle of the roof, we're going to end up with a different shape on our seat cut. However, this isn't going to be a problem, again, as long as we can put our nails in because we have enough room on this measurement right here where the nails are going to be installed and they're not going to be installed over here. Or should I say, maybe we should start installing nails over here and over here to eliminate some of the building hardware that we are putting on our roof rafters that we might not not need. And this video wouldn't be complete if I didn't provide you with a smaller seat cut, something that you're going to have a difficult time installing the nails in. And I left the nails at the previous position for the other rafter. However, I'm not about to suggest that you can't get the nailing you need with a one and a half inch wide seat cut. And the reason why I'm suggesting this is because I have seen seat cuts that were about an inch long and I'm sure the houses are still standing. However, that was before a time when we needed to install shear panel all the way around the perimeter of a building and then install our roof rafters. And you can see here where we're no longer going to have an inch and a half, we're going to have about an inch here. And again, even even though I'm pretty sure you can get two nails in here. I'm not about to suggest that this is going to be the best method for you to use when figuring out the length of the measurements you need for your seat cuts. So again, the measurement that you're probably going to need to concern yourself with will be the measurement from this point here, the outside of the wall framing to the inside or bottom of the roof rafter being at least two and a half inches wide and not extending past the framing plate on the other side. 